Hello friends, in my previous videos, I have discussed about three different types of interpolation methods. Newton's forward interpolation, Newton's backward interpolation and Lagrange's interpolation. In this video, I shall discuss about a new method of interpolation that is Newton's divided difference interpolation method. Now, before that, we need to know what is divided difference. Divided difference literally means difference divided by another difference. Now, let's see what does that mean. Divided difference is denoted by this kind of notations. Now, f of x comma x0 equals fx minus fx0 divided by x minus x0. Similarly, f of x comma x0 comma x1 equals f of x comma x0 minus f of x0 comma x1 divided by x minus x1. Now, they are in patterns. If you look at them carefully, you will see that in the first case, f of x comma x0 is equal to f of x minus f of x0 means taking one term at a time. And in the denominator, we have subtracted the extreme terms. Similarly, in the second case, we have taken two terms at a time. That is x x0 at, a at the first time and x0 x1 in the second place. And the denominator is the difference between the extreme terms. So, if you follow these patterns, the next cases will be in the similar ways. For example, if we write x comma x0 comma x1 comma x2 that will be equal to f of x comma x0 comma x1 minus f of x0 comma x1 comma x2 divided by the extremes that is x and x2 x minus x2 so and this will go on now let us move on to the newton's divided difference interpolation formula the formula goes like this fx the value of x will be given and if it is not given then you have to keep your answer in terms of x only so fx equals to f of x0 plus x minus x0 into f of x0 x1 plus x minus x0 into x minus x1 into f of x0 x1 x2 plus this will continue up to x minus x0 into x minus x1 dot 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 x minus x in minus 1 into f of x0 x1 and so on up to xn. Now I can expect that by far you have been able to understand what is this x and what are these x0 x1 and x2 terms. Now, uh, in this fx and these f, fx terms are different. Though, how I pronounce them in the same way. That is f of x and here also f of x0, x1. But always remember they are different terms. Just the difference lies in their notations. Now, let us look at an example to make the concept more clear. Here, the values of x and fx have been given. The values of x are minus 1, 1, 2 and 3. And their corresponding values of fx are minus 21, 15, 12 and 3. Now, uh, the rule of constructing the difference table is same as that of Newton's forward and backward interpolation methods that is the number of columns that we have to construct 
is equal to the number of elements in x minus 1. So, we have constructed 3 columns as the number of elements is 4. Now, the 3 columns are namely f of x0, x1 which is equal to fx0 minus fx1 by x0 minus x1. The second column is f x0, x1, x2 which is equal to f of x0, x1 minus f of x1, x2 divided by x0 minus x2. And the third and the last column is f of x0, x1, x2 and x3 which is equal to f of x0, x1, x2 minus f of x1, x2, x3 divided by x0 minus x3. Now, let us fill in the gaps rather the columns. The first column f of x0, x1 the first term for this column will be 18 that is minus 21 minus 15 divided by minus 1 minus 1. Similarly, the second term will be minus 3 that is 15 minus 12 divided by 1 minus 2 and the last term of this column will be minus 9 that is 12 minus 3 divided by 2 minus 3. Similarly, the next column, the first term of the next column will be minus 7 that is 18 minus of minus 3 divided by minus 1 minus 2 and the last term of this column will be minus 3 that is minus 3 minus of minus 9 divided by 1 minus 3. Now the last column the term in the last column the singular term in the last column will be 1 that is minus 7 minus of minus 3 divided by minus 1 minus 3. Now the question is we need to find a polynomial satisfying these values of x and their corresponding values of fx. Now, so we will use the Newton's divided difference interpolation formula and we will find out that polynomial. So, f of x is equal to x fx 0 that is minus 21 plus x minus x 0 that is x plus 1 into f x 0 x 1 that is 18 plus x minus x 0 that is x plus 1 into x minus x 1 that is x minus 1 into f x0 x1 x2 that is minus 7 plus x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x2 into f of x0 x1 x2 x3 that is 1 this is equal to xs cube minus 9xs square plus 17x plus 6. This is the answer. Now, there can be two type of questions that might be asked. The first type is the one I have shown just now that is finding out the polynomial or finding out the equation of a parabola crossing to, through some points or finding the equation of a hyperbola and so on that is with respect to curved with respect to curves now the second type can be finding the value of f x where x is equal to something the value of x will be given. Now, 
For example, in this question, if I was asked to find the value of f0, then what we have done? What we would have done? Just we have we would have done the steps and at last we would have put the value of x as 0 that is f of 0 would be equal to 0 cube minus 9 into 0 square plus 17 into 0 plus 6 that is equal to 6 so you can solve two type of questions using the newtons divided difference interpolation method now there are two advantages of using the Newton's divided difference interpolation method over the Newton's forward and backward interpolation and the Lagrange's interpolation. Now the first advantage is compared to the Newton's forward and backward interpolation method. In Newton's forward and backward interpolation method, you have noticed that we can only use those methods in case of equidistant values of x but in the Newton's divided difference interpolation method we need not pay our attention to the distance between the values of x that is we can use this method in case of both equidistant as well as non equidistant values of x the second advantage is compared to the Lagrange's interpolation method in Lagrange's interpolation method if we want to add a new value to the table of x and fx then we need to change the whole computation process that is we need to compute the whole problem from the beginning but in the Newton's divided difference interpolation method if we want to add a value in the x or fx then we need to just add another term to the formula that is we need not to compute the whole problem from the beginning so this was all about the newton's divided difference interpolation method i will be back with more videos till then thank you